We're really excited to have recently published um, five new violin books called The Best of Grades for Violin 1 to 5. Um, Jessica O'Leary is the editor and she's done a brilliant job of compiling, editing and arranging some books from current and past syllabuses. Mm -hmm. We've got ABRSM, Trinity and Guildhall, so we're covering everyone. Over the last 50 years, um, yes. the syllabuses, including current um, things on the current 2012 syllabuses. I was delighted to be asked to do the book because so often as a teacher you think, I've got the student and they're fantastically musical but they haven't got much time to learn it's something technically very difficult. And you know, here's the book where I can just rifle through and think, grade three, this will really suit them, we'll give them that. You know, or for example, grade five, you're looking for those valuable marks in the GCSE. There you have 14 pieces in grade five to choose from. And they're very robust, under pressure pieces. You know, I think as a performer myself, I really appreciate what's going to stand up well under pressure. Um, and I wouldn't want to give any of my students a piece that might make them feel a little bit insecure in yeah. that sort of environment. You know, whether it's a concert or, or an exam situation. So here are my absolute top, top choices, really, for just absolutely going for it and, and delivering the best results under pressure. As an ABRSM examiner myself, is that students often play just three pieces in the year. And they might play them extremely well because they've worked really hard on them, but when it comes to the sight reading, they haven't had enough experience across the board. So, you know, to have, to have a student who's maybe preparing for grade three, to give them loads of pieces that they can choose, and, you know, some of them up to performance standard, but just to learn a lot of repertoire with, you know, third position, quite a lot of shifting, there's different keys that you need for third position, mm. um, you know, when they get to the exam, it'll give them great confidence because they'll have played such a lot of repertoire. And of course, when it comes to the oral tests and they're having to work out the style and the period of pieces, again, all that experience will really feed into real marks. Mm. In each of the books in the series, and that's uh, five books, one for each grade, one to five, um, we've included not only the violin music, of course, but also a CD, uh, which is included just in the front in a little pouch, so you can't lose it very easily. Um, and on that CD, you've got performance tracks and also accompaniments for all of the pieces, um, which is just a brilliant tool for um, playing at home between lessons, as well as potentially in lessons if um, you know teachers don't have the um, ability to play all of the piano tracks themselves. Um, one of the other things in this book, which actually is becoming a little bit rarer nowadays, is um, that it includes the piano accompaniments. Um, now that sounds like something that you should take as read, but actually a lot of books nowadays um, have those separately, whereas we package them all together, so you know you've got everything you need um, just in the one book.